Hey, greeting slackers. It's May 28th, 2016. And I've got two very interesting and strange stories. I'm going to read them both separately. But here's the first one over on the Daily Record Code.uk. Pedophile who used dating site Plenty of Fish to prey on children of vulnerable single moms was caught seeing victim while on trial. He goes on to state here James Smith, 32, was jailed for three years in March for attacking two children, but appeared back in court after it emerged he had been seeing one of his victims. A pedophile who used online dating websites to target the children of vulnerable single mothers has had 20 months added to his three-year jail term. James Smith used a host of different identities, including the names Stephen Smith and Richard Noble, on dating site Plenty of Fish to track down women and start relationships with them. The 32-year-old gained access to their children, who he subjected to a string of sexual assaults. Smith was jailed for three years in March for attacks on two different children, but appeared back in court. After it emerged, he had continued seeing one of his victims while he was on trial. A woman reported her own sister to police after discovering she was living with the convicted sex fiend. The girl's mother who cannot be named for legal reasons, told her sister Smith was appearing in court because of a breach of bail and she was a witness in the case. However, her horrified sister later discovered Smith was a convicted pedophile after reading details of his case in a newspaper and police were contacted. Smith of Grangemouth, Stirlingshire, has now had a further 20 months added to his sentence at Hamilton Sheriff Court. He had earlier admitted staying with the mother and her daughter, even though strict bail conditions prohibited him from contacting them between March 2015 and February 2016. Depute Fiscal Lauren McRobert told the court, quote, Police spoke to the woman's sister who told them the woman had told her the case against him had been dropped, so her sister continued to take her children to her house and the accused was usually there. Quote, she was told he had moved back in. They all spent Christmas and New Year together. Her sister then became aware that the accused was attending at court for trial. She was told by the woman that this was in relation to a breach of bail matter. She asked her sister to collect her daughter one day because she was at court as a witness. When her sister went to wait outside the school, both the accused and the woman attended in his car with her son in the back. Quote, it was not until her sister seen the result of the court case in the paper that she became aware of what had happened. And as a result of all this, the accused was later arrested. As well as assaulting the young girl, Smith was also convicted of attacking a four-year-old boy at his home in Falkirk. He began talking to the boy's mother after messaging her on Plenty of Fish and arranged to meet her after she had attended tea in the park in July 2012. Smith on the sex offenders registry indefinitely. Sheriff Vincent Smith ordered Smith to serve his 20-month sentence once his current term has been served. You know, I used to always wonder, hey, have you ever seen these uh, episodes of Jerry Springer and Mari Povich where, you know, it was like some weird show like, you know, I'm in love with my stepdad or um, my stepdad is my baby's daddy or, you know, some 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 strange shit like that. Right. I always used to wonder how that type of stuff happened. But now I am fully aware of how it becomes uh, something that does happen. Um, being out here on the dating scene and especially in online dating, there's a lot of single mothers out there. A lot of them are vulnerable. A lot of them cannot properly spend an adequate enough time with their children because they're constantly working to try to maintain some type of lifestyle and, you know, keep a roof over their head. And so you do have guys who, you know, specifically go out here looking for single mothers just for that purpose such as this guy here, he has a pattern of it. He knew his targets, he knew what he was after, and it was gaining access to the children. To you single mothers out there who might be listening to this, or if you know someone who's a single mother, share this video with them because it's important for them to know that they need to be more careful out here when they are, you know, on the dating scene, when they are meeting people, 
because every man that you meet does not have the intent to be with you. He could also have, you know, an ulterior motive, and that is to gain access to your children. This is something to keep in mind and definitely something to consider. That's going to do it for this article. I'll catch you in the next one.